so hello and welcome back to a very important video and this video is going to be very important for those students who have their technical round uh, of the capgemini okay so this video is going to be very important for them so before going towards the video let me clarify this that this time the technical round of the capgemini is very hard okay this is going to be very hard and if you if you couldn't qualify the technical round you will be eliminated from the whole capgemini placement process so note every point whatever i tell you okay and if uh, if you think that i haven't answered any questions so you can comment down i will try to answer your question in the comment section okay so before uh, going towards the video if you are new in our channel so please do subscribe our channel because we bring this type of placement regarding helps placement regarding videos for you so please do subscribe our channel and uh, like the video okay and if you want any placement uh, capgemini technical round placement uh, placement pdfs uh, practice pdfs so you can go and check out this link okay uh, it is our official link you can go and check out here we have uploaded capgemini technical round questions previous year question as well as this year question so you can go and check out Okay, so let's begin with the questions that the lot of the students have asked, like uh, uh, what maybe the uh, what is the difficulty level of the fundamentals question, what was the complete process, uh, what maybe the cutoff and any suggestion that they uh, can get. Okay, and there was question regarding the boilerplates of the coding questions. Okay, uh, do the questions were twisted or they were straightforward? and uh, there are many questions related to this and these are the screenshots that i taken from the group as well as from the chat uh, okay so i'll be discussing everything and i will be sharing coding questions here uh, which are asked recently uh, actually the questions were asked today itself so i will be sharing the coding questions also and i'm going to tell you every pro tips from uh, for, uh, for you to just qualify this okay so uh, the uh, technical round has three sections the first section is uh, technical round uh, has this three section the first round uh, is mcq you will be having 40 mcqs uh, as you can see in our website also okay so this will be having uh, 40 questions the first question will be uh, the first section will be of the pseudo codes and the it fundamentals as you can see there will be 25 questions of uh, pseudo codes and the IT fundamentals in pseudo codes. There were very few numbers of pseudo codes, like there are, were only four to five pseudo codes. And there are questions of like post fix to prefix, uh, BFS question, AVL tree questions. These type of questions were there. Th 3D array questions were there. So only three to four questions were there of the pseudo code. So prepare for everything. And after this, we were having uh, the IT fundamentals. So IT fundamental questions were like they were they have asked question related to DBMS, uh, your basic fundamentals, uh, subjects fundamentals like cloud networkings and all. And they were like twisted questions. They were scenario based question. It was not hard. OK, so to qualify this, remember this you have to start with the it fundamentals you have to solve the first uh, you have you should not go to the pseudo code first you should solve this it fundamentals question uh, first attempt all 15 questions and try to uh, solve it within 10 minutes if possible okay so that you will get enough time in the pseudo codes because pseudo code is very lengthy this time pseudo code uh, is very lengthy and it takes a lot of time to solve okay so first solve the fundamentals question 15 question of the fundamentals after solving this you can go to the pseudo codes and remember this if any pseudo code is uh, if you think that it is very lengthy and you are not able to solve the pseudo code so leave that question and move forward to the other question and first check which question you are very uh, comfortable or you are very uh, you you think that i can solve this so solve that question first and always remember the timing you should uh, always uh, keep your eye in the timing so that you will uh, not miss any question okay so this is the most important thing that start from it fundamentals only 
then you can go with the pseudo codes okay so this is the one pro tip that i gave you and this is going to be very important if you follow this lots of these students have uh, given the feedback that they have started from the it fundamentals and they face they didn't face a lot of troubles okay after you complete this uh, if you qualify this the pseudo code or the te technical round so basically there will be 14 questions they haven't released any uh, cutoff or anything so uh, we can take uh, 25 to 30 as a cutoff if you have reached the, uh, the maximum marks between the 25 uh, to 30 so it may be possible that you will be uh, going to be the next round that is the coding round okay so in this you will be getting 40 minutes and these questions are really 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 easy let me show you the questions these question uh, the coding question were very easy very easy this is the question that uh, today uh, in the Capgemini was asked. This was a very, very, very basic question. And uh, there was one more question of the removing the duplicate string values from an array, uh, from a string. So this was the one of the question. These questions are very easy and very simple. So if you are uh, like regularly practicing the coding questions, so it will be not too much hard for you. And let me tell you one more thing that this time Capgemini has not allowed Python they have eliminated they have removed Python language from coding so you can uh, you will be having only three options for uh, choosing the language that is C, C++ and Java only these three coding uh, languages were allowed this time so if you are Python uh, you if your domain language is Python so it is going to be very difficult for you okay so this was uh, about the coding uh, uh, and let me tell you the coding uh, round was not elimination it is going to uh, like decide your package if you solve one question you will be like uh, you will be eligible for the 5 lpa 5.5 lpa or something and if you solve both the questions then you are directly uh, eligible for the 7.5 7 lpa so coding was not elimination and the invigilators to uh, themselves uh, themselves they told all the students that coding round is not elimination round but id fundamental uh, but the pseudo code as well as the it fundamental questions for elimination and most of the students were out from that round only okay and after you uh, at, you have to just attempt this question it's not mandatory to solve any question once you solve uh, once you attempt this you will be redirected to the, to the cognitive assignment that is the gamified round and here you will be having four uh, four gaming uh, questions and one behavioral uh, section inductive reasoning working memory that is grid challenge and motion challenge question and there was one more section and at the last you will be having behavioral round so this was the section and if you qualify the first round literally i'm telling if you qualify the first round all the rounds are very easy the most important thing is to qualify the first round so this was the tips that i uh, gave you from the feedbacks of the students so uh, that's all for the day if you want the premium uh, placement materials of the capgemini technical round so you can go and check out the link i will be providing uh, you in the description as well as the comment section and if you have any query or doubt you can just uh, comment down and if you want to join the group so you can join because lots of the students are sharing their i uh, sharing their experience in the group so go and check out the group and join the group so that's all for the day thank you and let's meet in the next video